This video is sponsored by Endal. What is happening guys? We're Craig and Amy and you are watching Kingin' It! And this week we are heading to the mountains for one of the biggest challenges of my life. I'm not doing it. And there was just a massive drop next to it. Me. I thought that was me then. As well as tackling fears head on, we also have some big van life problems. Cast of the Bess's favourite game. This week is an emotional one. You just caught me at bad time. What? <laughs> Here's one for you, Steve. This one's for you, buddy. If you're brand new around here, we are traveling around Morocco in our bus custard. So far, it's been unpredictable and hilarious. <laughs> Click subscribe and join us every Sunday as we see what trouble we can get into. Also, follow along and see what we're doing in real time over on our Instagram. Wow, good morning from Morocco team. Hell of a view to wake up to. <laughs> so peaceful here. You can see the high Atlas Mountains over there just caked in snow now. Because it's freezing this morning. All the water just burning off the top. Stunning lads. We made our way from just outside of Marrakesh to a place in the mountains called Imnil. This was one of the most stunning drives we had ever seen on this trip. Now, I never planned on doing this, but Chloe and James had their eyes on a mountain called Tubkal. Turns out it's the highest mountain in North Africa, and somehow I got roped into doing it. We found a tiny car park at the top of the village, and they were more than happy to keep us for 25 dirhams a night. Yeah, ready to climb a mountain? Yes! <laughs> ready as it will always be. Hi. Morning. How are you guys feeling? Ready. Yeah? yeah? I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, same. Are you a bit nervous? Proper nervous poo this morning. <laughs> <laughs> After renting a few bits of gear and meeting our new guide, Hamid, we all stood nicely for a pre-trek photo. Turns out Chloe's bag was a bit too heavy. Four minutes into the walk. And I'm struggling already. It's been a long two days. I can't remember the last time I did something this physical and challenged myself, so I thought I'd give it a go. Now I'm hoping that I can actually finish it. Bit of a flat ground by here. <laughs> Me and Chloe have just been saying like, I think we're on the wrong hike. Because <laughs> <laughs> it looks, the mountain just looks massive, doesn't it? Yeah, crazy. What's the highest thing you've ever climbed? Um, the one in the Peak District. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but we gotta do it, mate. Do you reckon yeah, we can? we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Look at these two, they're just out for a Sunday stroll. Not even puffing. And we're here just sweating and like <laughs> drooling. Just over two miles in an hour. A thousand meters. If you're looking to do this, for a guide it costs 800 dirham for two days. Hopefully we should be finished in two days. And you can actually rent all the gear in town as well. So you can rent backpacks like the one I've got. You can rent sleeping bags. You can even rent crampons, which apparently we need for the top because it's really icy and snowy. They've got sticks and all kinds. And yeah, so don't go buying all your stuff before you come because you can just rent it all here. They've got jackets, proper retro ski jackets and everything as well. Not bad for a few quid. First bit of sun. Oh, that feels nice. Feeling the altitude already though. I feel a little bit dizzy, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm just really unfit. You alright? Are you good? Good, yeah. Add some more break. Okay, oh, perfect. Oh, we got fresh orange juice, lads. Woo. Okay, we're an hour and a half in. First tea spot. I'm not sure if we're stopping for tea, but I'm definitely going to get an orange juice. Stunning views, lads. Look at that. Yeah, same. Chloe's made a new friend. He's so cute, isn't he? So cute. There's loads of room in custard, isn't there? <laughs> sure, he'd be more than welcome if Amy saw him. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Cheers, team, for the first uh, hour and a half. Cheers. Cheers. That was on us. <laughs> 10 out of 10 orange juice, though. I almost said no to doing this. I was so close, I was like, 
uh, we got some work to do and don't want to leave Amy on her own but Amy's like go on do it so far I'm really glad I have because I love challenging myself and I never do it I feel like just really getting out of your comfort zone and doing something that scares you a little bit it's always good for you afterwards you know it's good for the soul Back to it lads, stopped off in a, another little cafe, had our first tea, uh, just uh, another recharge and a stretch. Feeling good, everyone's feeling pumped. We're getting closer, but it's getting really snowy now. Look at this. Oh, rock hard. I feel all right but my watch is telling me otherwise. My heart rate's like 170 beats per minute. I think it's because of the altitude, 176. <laughs> Hope my heart doesn't pop. If it does, will you carry me down, guys? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this little heaven. Ah, oh, you just sit down so badly. What a view. How are you doing, Chloe? <laughs> I'm okay, I'm alive. <laughs> James? Good. Yeah. He's yeah, fine. He's a natural, he's just <laughs> not even <Yeah>. puffing. <laughs> the gym shaper. <laughs> gym shaper. What have you got there, mate? We've got the double banana. <laughs> That's twins! <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how you just feel brand new after a quick drink and a bit of pasta. Hopefully we're not that far, but we've been trekking for four hours, 20 minutes so far. And we've gone five miles up and I think we're about 2,500 meters maybe. Not too bad. I think when you're climbing a mountain, one of the best parts about it is it just forces you to be present. Your mind starts to wander a little bit. You might slip and then like, you have to remind yourself you're walking up a mountain and you have to be here. And it's kind of nice because your mind wanders so much and it's kind of like a great way of just training yourself to be in the here and now because life's just fast these days you know and sometimes you need to slow down it's my little takeaway for the afternoon do what you want with that there it is guys I can see the refuge yes oh, man. five and a half hours in I've been on a bit of a roller coaster and um, at the start I thought this is gonna be so hard and then the middle I was like, mm, no, actually it's quite easy. I can manage it fine. And now I'm like, dead, <laughs> basically. But it's okay, because yeah, the refuge so is there. What about you, James, how are you feeling? Good. My back's aching a bit from the bag. Yeah. But yeah, this last bit's been tough. Six and a half hours later, and we made it. Stick a fork in me, I'm done. I'm done. Someone just said, well done, and I feel like crying. Oh, mission and a half. Let's go. This is Baltic. What are you sleeping on the end? I'm <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm going in the middle. <laughs> right, between us, we've decided that heat rises, so we're going to go on the top bunk. <laughs> smells like. Eamon. Nate? Or oh, Beck. Strange. Could have sworn they were here. Bismillah. Um, I think this is dinner. <laughs> Hopefully these 30 calories will get us up the mountain tomorrow. <laughs> so it turns out, soup is a starter. So we all ate about four loaves of bread each to try and load up on calories. And now we've got a massive tagine as well. I think we were all pretty much burned our faces and we're delirious from the altitude because we just can't stop giggling like little kids. But uh, we're going to go to bed now. What time is it? Eight o'clock? Eight o'clock. <laughs> Eight o'clock. And uh, we've got to get up at four o'clock. So we'll see you then for breakfast. Before we carry on with the video, we'd like to thank this week's sponsor, Endal. Having a hard time focusing on your daily tasks? studying or working? Are you suffering from stress or anxiety? And are you struggling to be productive? Are you having trouble sleeping? You feel tired 
or your sleep quality is not good enough, don't even worry about it. We got you. Endow provides real-time soundscapes designed to help you relax, focus and sleep. It calms your mind to create feelings of comfort and safety. It also boosts your productivity by helping you concentrate for longer periods of time. And it soothes you into a deep sleep with soft, gentle sounds. Sounds are generated in real time based on various inputs such as one's location, time, weather, cadence, heart rate, etc. We've been using Endal for a while now and it really does put you in that lovely zen zone. So if you're struggling to relax, the first 100 people to download Endal will get a free week of audio experiences. Just click the link in our description. Honestly, you should give it a go. I think you're going to love it. After one of the worst nights sleep of my life, feeling my heart rate pounding all night from the altitude, mixed with the anxiety of the mission ahead, I only managed to eat half a piece of bread with jam and a cup of tea. Not the best start. Okay, here we go team. Let's go again. Let's do it team. <laughs> We've not anticipated how steep and scary this is going to be even in the dark. The drop-offs are absolutely mental. I'm kind of glad it's dark. The hike back down is going to be terrifying. The first part of the climb was treacherous and unnerving. And not long into the climb, I nearly came off the mountain. I just caught one of my spikes in my shoelace on the thinnest little path I've ever seen in my life and it was just a massive drop next to it. F me. I thought that was me then. I wasn't sure whether to talk about this, but the anxiety that I felt that morning was a real roller coaster for me. At one point we stopped and I had to eat something. I was exhausted and I was trying to swallow food, but I was so anxious that my throat was closing up and I felt like I was going to have a panic attack. I really had to fight it back and focus on the next few steps. Climbing like this really shows who you are, and at this point, I felt a dark cloud of doubt. My fear of heights is holding me back now, because these ridges are so narrow. Oh my God, why do I do these things? Why do we do these things? But I just gotta remember it's one step at a time, just like anything in life. If you've got a task you wanna complete, if you look at the whole thing, it's so hard to just, so easy to get overwhelmed. So I'm just trying to take one step at a time. Nearly there though. Oh my god, my legs are burning. I'm doing this one for Steve though, because I know he would have loved it, man. Here's one for you, Steve. Here's one for you, buddy. I know you're at the top waiting for me. I know you're laughing at me now, it's all been a little sappy. <laughs> the sunrise we saw at this point gave us a huge burst of energy. Oh, baby! and we thought we were close to the summit. We were not. As the sun came up, it definitely helped, but the ridges were narrower, and I can now see where I would fall off if I slept, so the adrenaline was firing. I can see the summit. That's the longest two days of my life, man. I've never been so scared. I've never been so, felt so panicky. I've never felt so anxious, and I've never felt like I could never do something. But I'm nearly there. I'm absolutely buzzing. Yes, do it together. Let's do it together. <laughs> Thanks for waiting for me. <laughs> Yes, brother. Well Thank you so much for coming in, man. Thank you so much. Oh, let's get out. Getting to the top, we were elated. After all the worry and all the sweating and groaning, we've conquered Mount Tubkal. Tubkal, baby! That one's for you, Steve. That one's for you, baby. This guy's the man, Hamid. If you ever want to climb, come with this guy. Yeah. Thanks, brother. <laughs> but now we had realized that we had to go nine miles all the way back down, and we had to do it today. After eight hours of basically non stop walking, we had made it back to the town. You know, when you're just walking forever. 
that's what we're doing right now. It's 20 past five and we've just got to the top of the village. Amy's message to say she's made a curry and we're all starving so we can't wait to get into the bus. We probably all stink, but we did it lads, we did it. Hi babes! <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Oh, you're freezing! Am I? Yeah! Oh, I'm boiling, Put man. Put on my face. <laughs> oh, I missed you. I'll probably stink. You okay? Yeah, I'm knackered. I bet you my are. My feet feel like they're going to explode. Oh, God. Carry for three, please, Trev. Three. Four. So this is us. I stopped it when we went when we got to the refuge and started it in the morning. 18 hours 25, that's how long we've been moving for. Oh my goodness. 19.26 miles. Wonder how many calories we burned. Soap car mate, completed it. Afternoon lads. Look at my lips. Look at my eyeballs. Snowblind mate, mountaineer now. Yeah. So even though I'm covered in mountaineering injuries, like um, chap lips, I can't walk, I got snow blindness, um, I've got to go and repair the van because when, when I was gone, Amy nearly set the place on fire. Okay, fella. Oh, <laughs> it's like you beat up a chimney. I think. Don't don't say I think. You have to be certain that that's the right part. I think it's right what they said on the internet. It's full of the dirties. Muffler will be blocked by dirties. <laughs> Stinking. I don't remember which bit goes where now. But. Now we have no idea if this is the way you should wash out your pipes with water or not. <laughs> Always wash out your pipes, lads. Yes. That'd be better than all that, surely. So hopefully it was just the dirties. <laughs> and now it should work, technically. You want to do the honours? I don't know if I do, Craig, because it, it really was like smoking. I thought someone had started a fire outside and then I was worried about it exploding and... I'll do it then. You think it'll be okay? I don't know. No idea. All right, I'll put it on and you wait outside. Yeah, that's smoking. It's not good, is it? No, Craig, it's not. Yeah, it's not right. I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> so Craig's trying to fix our diesel heater, but... Um, as you know with Chinese diesel heaters, the screens aren't that well lit up, so um, it looks a bit silly right now. <laughs> and to top it off, the van wouldn't start. Oh no. Custard the Bus's favourite game. Luckily, James had a set of jump leads to recharge Custard. Here we go. Oh. oh yay! Easy <laughs> peasy mate. Easy peasy. Good morning from uh, an icy cold custard this morning. Our diesel heater is still broken and last night our power went out. So I'm just standing over here just trying to get warm whilst the kettle boils. And Captain B's just asked me for a favour. Um, can you warm my wet wipe up before I put it on my face? <laughs> Look at this. We're in the North Pole, Craig. <laughs> this camera is like holding an ice block. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. The weather's mad because when the sun comes out, it's like really warm. But in the night, it is a Baltic. We need to get out of the mountains. You're really steaming up. <laughs> look at us <her> smoking. <laughs> <laughs> This morning, we're going for breakfast with a view. Won't be hard. So this is Mohammed. Yeah. He's been looking good, after us. Good sleeping. Yeah, always good sleeping. Always good sleeping, yeah. Park, always. If you come to yeah, him, it's cold. It's, it's very, very cold. Without a heater, it's freezing. Yeah. <laughs> if you come to him, Lil, this man will look after you. Sakuzas. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think of this walk, babes? Oh, you just caught me at bad time. <laughs> what? What's up? No, it's just amazing. <sighs> well, I don't know. I'm feeling really emotional at the minute, and yeah. it's just. 
No. It's just incredible. And it's so quiet and you just you're with your thoughts and everything and Yeah, it's incredible. It's not it's not a walk I'll forget too soon. Yeah. <laughs> look look at that, look at that. It's epic, isn't it? Oh babes, you haven't been out the van much, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had any friends. I haven't moved my legs in about four days. <laughs> It's all a bit overwhelming, isn't it, babes? Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy though. Cool. They, are, they are like happy tears. I'm just just taking it in and just I think I'm just so grateful to be back out yeah. and doing this again. It's great. I really wanted to visit a traditional Berber village like the ones you see on the side of the mountains. The people that live here are indigenous to North Africa and we heard of the most incredible spot you can go for tea and a tagine. Oh my goodness me. <gasps> this is probably the best view in Morocco, surely. Oh my goodness. And look, a convenient seat just for me and you. Been served. Soft seats because Captain Eve is melting in the sun. Count Dracula. <laughs> oh, so tasty. I don't know if it's because I'm so starving. Um, it is two o'clock. This was supposed to be breakfast. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a really good one, Craig. Nearly as good as the one we made. Really? It looks epic. I, mean, we're, I don't think we're ever going to beat this view for a tagine. Absolutely insane. It's just incredible here, isn't it? Just how they do things and how everything's like a rooftop where you can just have a view and have your food. I love it. I love Morocco. It's just so calm in here. It's like really, really quiet. All you can really hear is the birds and just the river flowing down the mountains. This is Hassan, best chef. So if you are struggling this year with a present for your mum and dad for Christmas, Mother's Day, Father's Day, I think you should bring them here. Um, I'm going to put a photo on the next slide which you can print out and write on the back, this is where we're going. It's nothing too pricey for your mum and dad. They're priceless. Oh, give me three bars for I'm stuck and I'll come and get you. I think he's alright. I'm actually really glad Craig climbed that mountain the other day because um, he's going about as slow as I go now. <laughs> he's on my level because he's got bad legs. But I really could do with a zip wire down here because I'm so full. <sighs> Look at that. Did you grow that yourself? <laughs> That's all me, baby. I grew that himself. <laughs> See that? See that peak there? That's not even Tubcar. Tubcar's behind that and it's bigger. I have actually got a runner bean stitch. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Hello. 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 Don't be afraid of me. Driving home for Christmas. I can't wait to see their faces. <laughs> <laughs> we always try and leave like a little bowl of well it's dog food but the cats don't seem to mind there's not that many dogs around here is there Craig yeah. enjoy your dinner I don't even want to know what the shape of this place is like it don't smell the best, Craig, I'm not going to lie. Okay, bittersweet time to leave Imlil. I've loved it here. It's a fantastic place. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. I, feel like, <clears throat> I feel like we've been really welcomed by all the locals as well. They're so friendly and helpful. Yeah. So we'll definitely come back one day. But now, we're going to go find a campsite to fill up water, empty our toilet and all the rest of it, and then we're headed. Tell her, babes, where are we going? We're going 
to the Sahara Desert. Woohoo! It might take a couple of days, so we're not going to be there. Yeah, yeah. Give us a minute. Give us a minute. Thank you, Mohammed. See you later. See you later. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. They're literally the loveliest people you'll ever meet. They'll, they'll do anything for you. They're so welcoming and they're so genuine. I think being out in, um, in more of a rural place like this, it's a lot more true to how the people are, you know? And yeah, being in Marrakech is like very touristy, but as soon as you come out, they're just genuinely nice people. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, my face is hurting from smiling. Yeah. And all we were doing is leaving and everyone's waving us off like we're, we've been there for 10 years, you know? We've only yeah, been there like for like five family. days. Yeah. yeah, it's so nice. As we drove back down the mountain, we picked up our first hitchhikers, who were the loveliest souls. Okay, so introduce yourself. Hello, welcome England. Wales. Welcome. Wales. Wales. Welcome. Wales. Welcome. Wales. <laughs> Thank you very much. Us, we go into uh, now direction Marrakesh. And, and uh, this lady, she's very gentle with his uh, husband. Uh, husband. They make for us to take us to this way. Good. In us, we are Berber. Welcome in Morocco. Uh, thank Morocco you. is lovely country. It is. And we are love people from England, from all the world. The world. America, yes. Spain, France. Welcome. 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 Welcome.